and welcome back to my channel for this Tuesday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And today I'm going to be doing a video about how we can support people with disabilities to get into politics, whether that's local or national politics. And this is going to be a follow on video from my video that I did on Saturday, talking about a meeting I went to on Friday. I'll link that in the video description down below in the comments section so you guys can watch that at your own conveniences. So on Friday, I went to a local politics disability meeting and the theme was about politics and voting and how to include disabled people within politics, within the voting system. One theme that was also then later pointed out in the afternoon was to do with people with disabilities and employment within politics. This is a topic I've been trying to campaign for for years. This is something I'm really, 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 really am passionate about. This is something I think that we really should have had happen a long time ago. I have been active in my local politics area for around seven to eight years. I've met with numerous MPs, councillors, borough councillors, county councillors to try and raise the profile of autism and disability in my own local area. As someone who has a deep, deep, deep interest in politics in my local area, I've been to many meetings, many stalls meetings in public where i've actually sat on tables and talked to people as they've gone past doing their shopping and giving out cards to them to encourage them to vote and why they should vote why politics is important as a local democrat democrat system and having their democratic right their democratic vote to vote also one thing that also got pointed out to me was the fact that people with disabilities need reasonable adjustments to vote because a lot of the polling stations aren't accessible or a lot of disabled people don't even know who to vote for or which local political parties there are in their area to vote for so again this needs to be something that's highlighted within people with disabilities who want to vote or don't understand how it works so they had a local organization called parliament outreach come to this meeting on friday who are from westminster which is the big decision house the house of commons the house of lords and the Parliament in general is based in Westminster in London, here in the UK. And one thing that they did say was that we need to have more involvement with disabled people within voting, within politics as a whole. And I couldn't agree more because at the moment I don't think there is very much involvement from people with disabilities within the voting system or the democratic voting system. Because a lot of us don't know who to vote for or what parties stand for what agendas or what people are standing up for elections because we often don't get details sent through to us until it's too late or we don't get clear enough accessible information given to us about voting so we either don't vote or we're too late to vote so i think what we need to do is get people with autism disabilities mental health issues involved in local volunteering capacity also in the local paid capacity as well so maybe if we do some volunteering first with up our skills our teamwork our confidence make friends and then we can be encouraged to stand as councillors borough councillors county councillors and then obviously maybe stand for being an mp at some point once we gain enough confidence and life skills to do that i think also each political party needs to have more reasonable adjustments and a accessible pathway to include people with disabilities and mental health issues who wish to work within the House of the Parliament or within their local or national politic bases. I think we need to make politics more a open, accessible area. I think it's something that we should have been doing a long time ago. But unfortunately, again, this is down to not enough disability awareness, not enough disability training or inclusive work to begin with. So I think what we need to be doing is sitting down with local political leaders asking them how we can make their parties more accessible, how we can include people with disabilities and mental health issues within the uh, political realm to begin with. I think also going to meetings will help, going to political meetings, going to special educational needs meetings that I attend, going to meetings based on autism or something that you're passionate about to raise that profile, to get your voice heard, your rights heard, your needs heard. is the most important open way that you can get involved with your local MPs is to go to local political meetings. So if you're passionate about mental health, go to mental health meetings. You're passionate about autism, education, nursing, anything that they debate, that kind of stuff. Like if you if you're passionate about, you know, say human rights or, you know, 
prisoner rights or something that affects you on a day-to-day -day basis you think hold on a minute my rights aren't being heard my voice isn't being heard I'm being ignored hold on um go to these meetings your MPs are accessible your borough councillors are approachable your county councillors are approachable they're all online social media that you have an option to contact them if you don't want to do online contact there is email there is telephone so you've got other options of how you can apply yourself to get hold of them um also they're often out and about in public anyway so there is the there is a way to contact them if you want to get hold of them for a certain issue or uh, issue that is asap needing their attention also things like making the entry requirements more easier for people who may have disabilities mental health issues because i know that in certain politics courses there is quite a high requirement to hit, hit the entry requirements maybe if we talked about lowering the entry requirements on these courses so that people who don't have such high qualifications or even a academic background could actually gain some education into politics and do an, and do an academic course to gain their skills and do some training. So I think that might be another way to involve us in general. Also to do online social media campaigning. So again, raising your voice, raising that profile, campaigning about say if it's autism, mental health, nursing, prisoner rights, asylum rights anything that you may think is important to you to talk about please raise your voice because if you don't raise your voice you can't make change so you need to be able to make that change to get yourself heard get yourself involved and that's what i've been doing i've been using my youtube channel as my voice as my platform to raise my voice in that aspect um also i want to talk about maybe getting people involved you know in training like advocacy training maybe if you want to become a political counsellor or you want to take take part in political meetings go meet up your mps or county councillors borough councillors they're always there to have a chat with you i think the more disabled people we see being actively involved going to meet up their councillors or mps going to westminster to experience a debate that is the best way that i can suggest that you do this is go to westminster if you're in uk only this is if you're near Westminster or you can get to Westminster if you're in the UK, go and watch a debate because that will change your whole perspective on how you see things being debated, being talked about, being reasoned about, being legislated about. That will change how you see politics because there's only so much you can see on the TV, how they broadcast it, but being there in person is a totally different environment totally different sound and you may get your voice heard that way as well so it's always good to go and lobby your mps um at westminster as well is what i would suggest as well also maybe like finding online political, political groups if you're not a person that wants to meet up in person i totally respect and understand that but if you want to do online there's a lot of online political groups facebook forums twitter forums instagram forums you know there's always ways of getting involved within politics so i hope you've liked this video please give it a like comment share and subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it and i will see you soon bye guys